Hello and welcome. Uh, in this session we're going to uh, be looking at uh, an introduction to Windows Phone. Uh, the version we're using is 2010 and as you can see here I'm using Visual Studio 2010 Express uh, version for this. Um, again this can be downloaded from the Microsoft site, just do a quick search on uh, any search engine and just type in Visual Studio 2010 Express and you'll get the download there. Okay, uh, when you open uh, it up, uh, you'll come to this page, a uh, uh, start page, and as you can see there, the layout is uh, similar to how we'd see most Microsoft programs. Again, we have our main menu across the top, uh, followed by a toolbar underneath. And again, you can see the the uh, the way it's separated into grids. I've got a toolbox on one side, I've got a start page in the center, and a solution explorer over here on the right. Uh, everything we do in mobile uh, in, in 2010 is going to be a new project uh, for the thing, so I'm going to click here on new project. And when I click on new project, you can see here I get a new a new window coming up, uh, the new project window, and you can see where it's going to where I'm going to save it uh, down here. But let's go over here from the top, and you can see here I have a an option for Visual Basic or Visual C Sharp. So what we're going to select is Visual C Sharp and Silverlight Mobile Phone, and that gives us this set of possible um, uh, templates to, to, to work on. Uh, so I'm going to start with Windows Mobile Phone application, which is just a kind of bog standard. You can see I get a little uh, icon of it here. Again, down here it's asking me to name it. Okay, and I'll just call this intro. And you can see there that by giving the, the name, it also gives the solution name the same, and here is where it's going to be saved. Okay, so I'll just uh, click OK to that and let it build again. Sorry, you just it's going to offer me seven or seven point one again. If you have version eight, uh, uh, again version eight will will run um, the 2012 version will offer you Windows eight as well. But again, you'd have to have a Windows eight operating system uh, for that to uh, uh, come up. Okay, so when your pair, when your after the application loads, uh, we can uh, uh, see it laid out similar to this. Okay, let me go through uh, a couple of things here uh, and how you may want to lay out your page or your uh, uh, your IDE for developing on Windows Phone. Again, working from the left, you can see there I have the toolbar. Now, again, I can always unpin the toolbar if you're looking for more acreage on your uh, screen. Again, I can click the toolbar and then just pin it by clicking this icon here, and it pins it in place. Uh, the second page you can see here, if you look at the name of it, it's called mainpage.xaml, X-M-A-M-L. Uh, and again, uh, think of XAML, I'll, I'll just talk about that in a sec, but uh, let's look at this here. We've got a, a more or less a GUI uh, application, and again, uh, we'll, we'll look at this now in a second. But the panel right next to it here is the actual XAML code. Okay, so what I'm looking at here, on this side, is the, 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 the GUI interface, and this is the code behind it. The code exactly behind this page. So anything I do here, I can it's going to reflect here in the code behind it. Or likewise, anything I work in the code, it's going to be uh, reflected here in the page as well, or the page or the, the screen as well. Let's look at the other uh, bars here. I've got uh, my, my solutions explorer. And again, this when this loads up, it loads up everything that's needed to run uh, an actual mobile phone application um, here. Uh, the, you can see here I've got a, a few things. I've got references, properties. Uh, so again, as we come to these, we'll uh, we'll talk about it. But again, if you notice here, there's little uh, triangle beside main page .xaml. This is what I'm looking at here. And when I click that, I can see main page .xaml .cs. Uh, that's the C sharp page that's actually supporting or behind this as well. And we'll we'll look at that today. And down here we have our properties. Uh, a palette, and again, anything we click on here on the actual uh, uh, GUI, the properties are going to come up here, here first. So if I click on page name here, you can see there that this is a text block, okay, and I have all the properties of that particular text block, block here. Okay, you can see here the actual text on it is page name, so if I type in Joe Blogs, uh, oh, yes. Okay, and just click off it there. You can see there that it's it's, uh, it's actually updated the uh, that text block here. 
again, my application, if I click on that, I can see that that's another text block, and it's the application title. And this is referenced here in the actual XAML code. You can see here, well, it's known as the stack panel, and again, I can see the text panel, and the text, or the, sorry, two text blocks, and here I can see the page title, and you can see the text there has been changed to Joe Blogs. And again, let's look at changing the My Application to, uh, I'll just delete out this between the inverted commas, and I'll just type in something. Okay, and you can see there that that's reflected here in the actual uh, the GUI itself. Okay, so again, uh, we'll we'll look at this more and more as we're going through the whole uh, application. So let's uh, let's see how we would like it laid out. Now again, I can there's an icon here where I can move uh, one over to the other, uh, one on the left, one on the right, depending on how you wish to develop. I can also resize these panels by mousing over and, and just resizing them like this. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize the actual uh, XAML code page there. I'll just click on minimize there. And you can see there that when I minimize it, or, 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 sorry, or change it down, uh, so it's underneath the page here. And I'm just going to click on this down arrow here to collapse the pane, like so. So this gives me a little bit of acreage. Uh, our screen area to do it but if I look down here you can see I'm in design mode or I can be in XAML mode and I can just click on either one to give me uh, what I want to look at. Okay uh, let's uh, look at a couple of things here. Again uh, my you know, going back here sorry, that's my panels and this is how I like to lay out the screen I can just give the actual uh, properties and solution this far so this will give me a little bit more uh, room to play with the properties okay I can resize that up there so it just gives me again because we will be switching over to our properties quite a lot as we drop a control onto the the mobile phone app uh, so I'm going to start off with a button okay I'll drag a button on here and notice here when I drag a button on uh, I get over here in the properties it's a button and it gives it a name button button one Okay, so I'm just going to change the name of this, and I'm going to give it the prefix BTN, and I'll call it click. Again, notice the way uh, I'll give everything here a prefix, uh, and uh, as we're going more through the, the application, we'll see why and which ones we do it. Uh, and notice I started off with a lowercase, no spaces. Uh, so that actually gives the name of the control, but if I want the text or the content in it, I can come down to content and just type in click. Okay, and if I click off the control, you can see there the actual button is called click. Uh, um, and if I click back on it, I get the properties of it there. Again, like so, I can move it anywhere I like on the actual uh, screen area. So I'll just leave it there in the middle for the time being. And notice the way I've got an arrow pointing to the top and an arrow pointing to the left. Again, everything is reflected uh, from this point here in the top, uh, top left and corner again how many pixels it's in and if we actually go to the XAML page here you can see here it's put in I'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it you can see it's put in the in the in the grid it's put in a button in the control panel and I can see the height the horizontal alignment okay margin the name of it, which I call button click and, and it's width okay and click back here to design Okay, so that's to do with the that's to do with uh, the uh, 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 the button and how it's displayed on the screen. Okay, I'm going to click over here onto the uh, what's called the text block. And again, for people who are used to C, C Sharp or working with C Sharp or the uh, Windows IDE, you probably would have noticed there that you this would have been called a label and in some other um, uh, uh, one here. So I'm going to bring out a text block and just make a, try a rectangle there with that and you can see there it's called a text block okay uh, and again I'm just gonna just rename this to display okay now as it used to be called label I'll just call it label for the time being LBL display okay so this is going to display something out and if I come down here into the text of that that's just, this is I can see text block that's what's showing so I'll take that out and just have nothing in it Again, I could do a load of other things like background color and stuff like that, and uh, the font size and how it's going to appear. You can see there, the font size is 20. I can just change that to something a little bit bigger. 
just uh, okay. Uh, I can change the uh, uh, font family, so that's what I was going to do there. I'll just change it to um, Comic Sans. Okay. Uh, you can see there font style. Um, Again, yeah, normal italic, a few other things. So what I'd like you to do is play around with, with that, actually. Uh, 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 the foreground color is, is white. Okay, I'm just going to pick on a kind of a, a red. I can take my eyedropper here, select this red. So you can see there, I've got this red color that's going to appear. Uh, that's how the text will appear. So the text should appear in, in Comic Sans in color red. Okay, let's. Uh, that's the introduction to it. Okay, in our next lesson, let's look at uh, the C sharp code behind this. Okay, thank you for your attention.